everybody. Welcome to Make Your Day Count. I'm Lindsay Roberts, joined with my co-host, Melissa Hello. Lee. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. So remember the other day when I said between my house and when I got to work, I lost my white pants that yes. I was carrying in so that I, so I had underneath everything, I had on sweatpants. Well, I lost my lipstick today. <laughs> So, in case I look a little dry and a little a little pale, uh, somewhere Just between somewhere we're going between for the here and Tulsa. Look today, okay? Yeah. So we're going all natural because somewhere I lost, you know. Oh, oh it's been a, it's been one of those days, and so I got my coffee in giant, not extra large. <laughs> it was like put two extra large Thank inside. God. So all is well. My question to you is: Are you having a day like my day? And if you are, I tell you what we have a message for you from Ephesians 3.14. Melissa was looking at this and was reading it out of her Bible. She's got several Bibles and yes, I borrow them. I was looking at it the other day and this Lindsay's particular are pristine, one. Though. My, Yours are like, mine is a little She's neat. like, you can borrow mine. I'm like, you, you don't want me. I'll color in it like a crayon. Yeah, like it, a coloring it, book. it looks like a coloring book. However, <laughs> we were um, going through Ephesians 3.14. So powerful. And some of the words, when you mm -hmm. read it as a whole sentence, it's lovely. It really mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. But we began to pick it apart word by word by word and every word represented power to me yeah. and sometimes we go through life allowing the devil to just have his heyday mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I said you know the Bible says we shall receive power when right. the Holy Spirit comes upon you you know and there are so many words of power love a sound yes. mind and sometimes I think Satan wants to remind us and mm -hmm. we tend to lean to how you know I'm so weak right now mm -hmm. I messed up so bad or what am I doing the other day I had to turn around and go home <laughs> three times to get the stuff I needed to drive away with. Three times, not first time, not second oh, time, man. third time. I, you know, third time is not the charm. In my case, it was like so frustrating. It was like, I don't know what I'm doing today. We all have those days, we have though, don't those we? Days. But we can say in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus, we where it's like where we are weak, the Bible says he is strong. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about Ephesians 3.14. Yep. And I want you to get your Bible or get a notepad, yeah. get whatever you, take notes on because I think to me yes. this is life changing. Yes, it, is. it can take you out of feeling like you're defenseless, mm -hmm. feeling like you're weak, feeling like you're powerless. Mm -hmm. And you say one scripture can do that. Absolutely. I think one scripture can do anything Absolutely. one scripture wants to do. Yes. But this one's powerful. Yes. So stay tuned. We're gonna be right back. Jordan's gonna sing and have we got a, a scripture for you. The sun comes up it's a new day dawning it's time to sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the evening comes bless the Sing your praise unending. 
latest online magazines at richardroberts.org. The issues of Make Your Day Count with Lindsay Roberts are loaded with encouragement from God's life-giving word. They feature inspiring articles from Lindsay, teachings from Richard, oral and other special guests, and delicious recipes to try in your kitchen. Just go to richardroberts.org to read the free online issues of Make Your Day Count with Lindsay Roberts. That's richardroberts.org. Okay, we are back, and yes, we are. I'm telling you what, I believe this scripture, mm -hmm. Ephesians is a small book, but right. powerful, and, and this is Paul teaching something that I believe if we can grab a hold of, yes. and I don't always pick stuff apart word by word, I kind of mm -hmm. do it a lot, right. but... This, this is one, one is it's worth like, doing. So yeah, you want to start? So rich. Sure. Okay, Ephesians 4, I'm sorry, 3. Yes. And we started it. We started at verse 14. Okay. So, which I do think there's a few different things I want to say. Paul writing this mm -hmm. beautiful prayer. Mm -hmm. And the, the headline in my Bible says, Paul's prayer for spiritual growth. Paul is writing this from prison. Yeah, imagine that. Mm -hmm. Imagine On that. the beginning of, of chapter 3, he says, when I think of all this, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ. And then it's like he goes on for a few verses, but then he gets to 14 and he's reminded again. And he starts verse 14. I'm going to read it and you do your okay, I was writing notes. You do I'll your law you school saying. shorthand yeah, like, okay, that only you I'll can do, do and read. <laughs> but but she, it works. My own system, <laughs> but it works. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. So Paul's prayer for spiritual growth, cha uh, chapter 3, verse 14, and we're in the book of Ephesians. He says, when I think of all of this, I fall to my knees and I pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your heart as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And like I said, Lindsay, we could stop at every mm -hmm. line and go, but I'm going to finish it. Okay. And may you have the power to understand as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and the power that comes from God. And then he says, now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power. And in my, my Bible, I wrote the same power that raised Christ from the dead. That's the yep. power that's indwelling yep. in you, in you, in me, that is in, uh, making all of this possible. It says glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. I would say, and ever. This is true. It's true. You want to <laughs> get to it. Want to sing? <laughs> Does it make you want to stand up and hallelujah? Go yes. back to the creator of everything. And those are the words I want to dwell on. Then I'm going to tell you what I wrote. Okay. okay. So it says, in the, from the creator of everything. Mm -hmm. in so it doesn't get right. any better than this. Right. Okay. In heaven in and earth. In heaven and on earth. Uh -huh. And then verse 16 says, I pray that from his glorious, glorious. unlimited resources, mm -hmm. He will empower you mm -hmm. with inner strength through His Spirit. Okay, now let's go back let's to that. Let's talk about and this. And this is what I was writing. <laughs> I wrote this the other day because she was reading it. I was writing so fast. But look at this. First of all, it says the Creator of everything. everything. Melissa, there are so many days when in my own strength, mm -hmm. I think, 
I have no idea what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. This morning might have been one of them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Chloe was making up words about, <laughs> like, my brain was on delete for a brief moment. Or she said, Mom, did you put it on pause? I'm like, put what on, on pause? Purpose. She said, your brain. <laughs> like, Never okay. on purpose. <laughs> and it was. We were giggling so hard about it because I was trying to make a plus B equals C, and I was like, it wasn't But you were doing there. math like me, right? I was doing, I was doing <laughs> Melissa math this day. But when you think about it, the best part of this entire scripture mm -hmm. is it's the creator. Yeah. I can look to God. Yes. I don't have to look to Lindsay this morning. Right. Now, I have to do my part. Right. Of course I do. Of course we do. But he said, I look to the creator of everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's tear apart the word everything. Okay. Because this morning, like I said, I, somehow... I managed to lose the only lipstick I thought I had in my purse. Sorry. So I had this powder, like cheek powder thing. So I sprayed, <laughs> okay, this is bad, but I sprayed alcohol. I think I even have it. I like have I'm it. I'm sure you do. Well, what would I do with it? Yeah, I sprayed this little bottle of alcohol. It's her best friend. It's my best friend. <laughs> and I sprayed it on my like powder thing. That was, to make it liquid? Yeah. I love you so and much. And then I rubbed it on my lips, but then I realized that was alcohol and it was so burned so bad. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, that so was So your lips terrible. are very clean. They're clean. <laughs> <laughs> but they were not smart. But then I went from that to thinking, okay, I got to spray my hair. And, and Jordan was trying to fix it. And you were trying to fix it. <laughs> Melissa was trying to fix it with the ink pen. Listen, and we use the tools we have, girls. This is right. <laughs> I could do it with a fork if I had to. I really could. A dingle hopper, but yes. Yeah, exactly. But then I didn't have any hairspray. And I thought, it's like when you have a sofa mm -hmm. with no cushion mm -hmm. or a chair cushion, but no chair. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of moving parts today, mm -hmm. but nothing went together. Mm -hmm. And right here, it said creator of everything. Mm -hmm. He is the creator of everything. And mm -hmm. that includes myself mm -hmm. being able to turn to somebody who at that moment was smarter than me, mm -hmm. more organized than I was, mm -hmm. more uh, con concise and precise than I was. And since he's the creator of everything, this is what he does to us. Mm -hmm. It says <laughs> his glorious, mm -hmm. unlimited, Mm -hmm. resources. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, I'm being silly. I needed lipstick. I ended up using isopropyl alcohol sprayed on my, <laughs> my blush powder and rubbing it. I still have it. You can still see it. I have it on my pinky. It just went from bad to worse. But he is the creator of everything mm -hmm. with glorious, mm -hmm. glory-filled, mm -hmm. unlimited resources. Mm -hmm. And he said he empowers in strength. Mm -hmm. Now, I... I really had a lot on my plate yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. actually went to bed and got sleep, which kind of, that's kind of rare for mm -hmm. me to just kind mm -hmm. of have a really good, good night's sleep, sleep all yeah. the time. And yet, everything I tried to do in my own strength that looked like it was really perfect on paper, yeah. I got up this morning and it all fell apart. Mm. What is it that seems to be mm -hmm. falling apart? Mm. Is it your finances? Is it a relationship? Mm -hmm. Is it a friendship? Is it a marriage? Is it your job? Is it your children? Is it something that you're looking at yourself and going, I don't even know what happened? Yeah. And you can look at that and mm -hmm. look in the mirror, because I like to do my part after having done your part, right. after having done all the crisis demands, yes. stand there for. Yeah. But my standing there for wasn't working. Mm -hmm. And it says the creator of everything, mm -hmm. glorious, mm -hmm. unlimited resources. Mm -hmm. I needed the unlimited resources of thinking power this mm -hmm. morning. I had a mm -hmm. lot to do and a lot on my plate. I love that. And I wasn't thinking straight. No, and I love that God will meet us right where we are. He cares. You said this yesterday. He cares about every single thing that concerns us. There is nothing too small. There is nothing too big. He cares about everything. And sometimes I think in the mix or the chaos or we um, forget to go to the Lord. Yes. For the little things. Funny story, um, my father-in-law and mother-in-law, Oral and Evelyn Roberts, whom you knew very, yes. very well, um, uh, there was a, a healing line when Oral first started out in the ministry. Mm -hmm. Now, here you have people who have cancer, mm -hmm. people who have serious illnesses. Um, it was it was very hard on him. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, it was very hard on him. I think emotionally him. and physically, yeah. he stood for hours. He stood laying hands on him for hours. hours. And a lady came in and she did something funny. She pulled out her hand like this and she said, I have tried and tried and tried to get this splinter out of my hand. Mm -hmm. I've tried everything I know. Mm -hmm. Evelyn piped in and she said, honey, 
And she was so, everyone was so sweet and yeah. so gentle and not judgmental. <clears throat> right, and, right. And she said, honey, um, I think we should not worry about that. Is there anything else that you'd oh. like Brother Roberts to pray for? Wow. Like a bigger <laughs> scale? Yes. And Oral said, absolutely not, Evelyn. Wow. And he said, let me have your hand. Wow. He laid hands on that woman and they watched, Evelyn included, up? watched it pop up. Now, you may think that's weird, so do I, <laughs> but it's miraculous. And, it is. And, also, and she took her hand, she went just like this, and she said, it has bothered me for so long. It's created yes. so much pain, pain I can't work. It was on the hand that she wrote with. Mm -hmm. And Oral looked at Evelyn mm -hmm. and he said, nothing is too big or too small That's for right. God. That's right. Evelyn now is in tears. Yes. Now, all these years I'm later, she told me this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a moment, yes, like a teaching, a teaching moment, moment, a learning moment. I mean, and all these years later, when mm -hmm. she told me that story, mm. I mean, I don't even know how many decades later right, it was right. that she told me the story. She said, Lindsay, it was the greatest lesson I ever learned. Right. Nothing is too big right. or too small for us to go to God. Right. And it's not even, it's not about the splinter. No. It's about God caring yeah. about everything that concerns us. Will you read that one more time? And I yes, want you to focus. I'm going to tell you. Go? We got to 16. Uh, I want you to go back to 14 okay. and then you can read it all again. But okay. when she reads this, I want you to listen to the words glorious. Okay. Unlimited resources. Now there's something. Mm -hmm. Empower. Inner strength. Um, Roots grow to God's love, mm -hmm. me getting to grow, to connect to God's mm -hmm. love, power. Mm -hmm. And it said that we would know how deep, how high, oh my. Grasp the love of God. The love of what? God. <laughs> and nothing is too big or too small. I want you to think of what you want to go to God with right mm -hmm. now. And I want her to read it, but while she's reading those words, mm -hmm. think about it, whether it's big, small, or somewhere whatever your in, need between. Is. Yeah, whatever. in between, whatever your need is. Yeah. He said he'd supply all your need. Okay. So will you read that yes, again? Yes, ma'am. So it says, when I think of all of this, I fall to my knees and I pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited, unlimited resources, resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. Woo! Wow. Let's do a dance here. Wasn't that something? <laughs> and may you have the power. The this is what I love. The power. The what? The power. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to understand as all God's people should right? We don't and, all do it, but right. we should. Paul knew, listen, you're loved by God, but you don't even know. You have, you're not yeah. grasping the depth. So it says how wide, how long, how high, how deep his love is. And then he says, may you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to fully understand, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and the power that comes from God. Go back to what he said about making his home in your heart. I okay. want to show you something. Just this is what flashed in my head. Okay. Okay. Uh, may you experience, let's see, let's go. Okay. Then Christ, verse 17, then Christ will make his home in your heart. Okay, hold that right there. I'm drawing okay. a heart. Okay. Okay. I love There's you. a heart. We're having craft I'm, lessons. Yeah, we're having craft. And this and is I going to be it. second grade craft <laughs> lesson. But think about this. Make his artists. home in your heart. Okay. In, here, I'm even putting a little smoke stack. I here love is you. My Where's door. the swing set in the tree? I okay, <laughs> here's the windows. <laughs> here's the swing set. <laughs> and here's you. the tree in the backyard. And the swings hang from the swing set. And here's the, okay, you want a tree? Yeah. And there you have. So take a look at my literal second grade. But, but think about this. He wants to make, make his, his home, home in my, my heart. heart. But what about, Ooh. just what if, this were my same heart. Mm -hmm. Those were all my notes I just scribbled on. But <laughs> what if you. we have so much, let's no room. say, exactly, fear, mm -hmm. worry, Mm -hmm. Concern, or we're not focusing doubt. on who the guest in our home wants to be. We're yeah. having the wrong guest in our home. Wrong. We're inviting the wrong occupants. 
<laughs> Ooh, I, that one, I'm going to have to take a look Next, at that we're one. we're going to a whiteboard. Yeah, and the exact bigger. <laughs> and you take a look at that. Yeah. Where's, where's the room for God? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where's the space? Right. God wants to make his home in our heart. Mm -hmm. But if we he don't leave him door, any knocking. space, yeah. he's standing right there at knocking. the door and knocking. And yet we're too busy with fear, worry, concern, mm -hmm. doubt, wrong occupants, etc., mm -hmm, etc. Mm -hmm. And yet all those power words are right there. Right. And what are we doing? complaining, whining, griping, or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. We're lost. We're lost. Focusing in... on the wrong things. There you go. Majoring so, on the minors. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So keep going. Okay. I just gave you an order. I love, you. I love it. <laughs> nope, I love it. It says, may you experience the love of Christ. Oh, I'm reading that again. Good. Though it is, but you can't say it too much, right? Yep. Though it is too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. And then he says, now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we could even think or ask. You will be made complete. Mm -hmm. You will have the fullness. Mm -hmm. You will be made complete. Mm -hmm. See that ever and ever generations to come. Yeah. We can pass that down to right. our family. We talk about how we have four generations yeah. going on with us right now. We you know do. what I mean? That we're right now. I mean, we, we had like her mom them, and her, yes. uh, we call him Poppy Ray, her yeah. mom and Poppy Ray. And then that went on to you and Gary mm -hmm. and then um, Candace and all her babies and yeah. all your kids and yes, their babies. Yes. And we all go down from Oral to Richard and me to our kids. And we are literally with all of them around yeah. we're four generations. Mm -hmm. I mean, with Poppy Ray we're still old. alive, <laughs> we're getting up there. But there are literally four generations yes. of Lees and right. Lee babies and 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 this has gone back over you know almost well over 30 years mm -hmm. but if I didn't make room in my heart for a friend mm -hmm. or I didn't make room in my heart for your mm -hmm. kiddos mm -hmm. or I didn't make room in my heart for anything right and there was no room in my heart Think of the years I would have missed, the four generations mm -hmm. of Lees and Roberts that mm -hmm. would have just been by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Think about all of those different things because I wasn't willing. Maybe I was stubborn. Maybe I was mm -hmm. fearful. Maybe I was A or B, this mm -hmm. or that. Mm -hmm. And I made no room in mm -hmm. my heart. Mm -hmm. Where would all of us now, not all of us, just you and me, mm -hmm. now with like Jillian and Candace and, oh, and it, yeah. it goes on down yes. another generation yes. past that generation. Yeah, right. So when you think about that, he went on and used the words he was saying just before that. He was saying complete. Yes. I have been this morning a little <laughs> bit incomplete. What? I mean it. And it may sound silly that you're thinking about, okay, well, it's just lipstick. No, no. My so many little things. Your, yeah. your child had get me new notes and reprint all of this. And Jordan came up and had to re reprogram my hair. And everything was just like to get it on the table. I was incomplete in so many different ways. And I was what I say. No one may say use this word anymore, but I was discombobulated. Okay, Gigi, but you got what, it. Yep, yeah, but what did he say? Yeah, no, that you're made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. And you know what I want to say? So you, like what you were explaining was the different little pieces that were yeah. seemingly coming together today. But you are sitting here because you didn't focus on, I don't have lipstick, I can't go, you know. Yeah. You just, I don't know what that voice was either. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody I know talks like that, thank God. <laughs> she just were... morphed into something we don't know. <laughs> but, but anyway. But Jordan so... does the best imitation of Melissa Lee you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> true. <laughs> it's true. It's like, okay. So, all right, she does. I, I give her that. But um, you didn't focus on the things that weren't working out. Yeah. You focused on, you know what? We're going to share a job to do and share Christ. Yes, yeah. we're going to we're going to talk about the word today and we have things to do. And it's even if it's just like taking care of like other things. It's like don't get caught up on the little things or the things that seem big even. Yeah. But just to what is our focus? What is our focus? And if we'll realize that if we'll focus on the creator mm -hmm. of everything and ask for help and ask for help yeah that's and he true. said that he would leave us complete mm -hmm. what is it in james 5 complete and entire wanting nothing right i mean my gracious sakes it's in the book mm -hmm. it's in the mm -hmm. i have this file i have a file for everything i swear one day i'm gonna find richard in a file that says <laughs> richard roberts i'm not kidding or one of the cats it's the truth <laughs> <laughs> gus gus and I, I do have a gus gus file he's not in it but i do have it. his, bill, his but, vet uh, 
his be papers records, and all. Records, yes. Yeah. But truthfully, you know, we have to go and realize that there is a file full of everything that mm. we have need of mm. if we'll just open the file. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get so, I was rushed this morning, mm -hmm. you can tell. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I got so rushed, I don't stop to say, wait a minute. Yeah. It's not even by my might or my power, right. God's might or his power. It's by the spirit of God. Lindsay, yeah. stop what you're doing mm -hmm. and get a grip and start to pray. And that's yeah. what I did. Yeah. I began to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. you know and see everything. Let's bring this this whole thing together. Mm -hmm. And it, you know what it does. Yeah. It didn't mean it was easy, but right. we got there. Mm -hmm. In just a minute, we're going to come back and I'm going to ask Melissa to pray over Ephesians 3, 14. And I am expecting a miracle with you. I'm expecting a miracle with you. And I believe when we do that, God has that just in mind. I just want to say this very quickly. Read, pray, and then obey. And I believe this devotion will be a blessing to you. Any Seed Faith gift you want to give into the ministry, the Word is in there, the devotion is in there, the prayer is even in there, the Scripture is in there. And I believe it will help you as we know the Word of God. 844-828-1412. 844-828-1412. Yes. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back. Lindsay's newest version of Read and Pray and Then Obey, Volume 2, is your 31-day devotional for your healing and wholeness. Throughout his entire ministry, Jesus healed people, taking from them the burden of illness and giving them life and strength. These devotionals are designed to give you hope and release your faith in the power of the living Word of God. Go to richardroberts.org to order your copy of Read and Pray and Then Obey, Volume 2 by Lindsay Roberts. Yours for any Seed Faith gift. Thank you so much for being a part of our program today. Yay. Lindsay, I love reading scripture with you. I just want to pray for you all, though. I just pray that the words that we shared, that your inner strength would be renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit, that as you read the word, it comes alive to you and transforms your life and that you feel the presence of God, that the Holy Spirit would wrap his arms around you and meet you right where you're at, meet you with every need that you have, there's, remember, there's nothing too big or too mm -hmm. small. It could be a terminal illness. It could be a splinter. It could just be finding your lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not too big for God and it's not too small for God. So I just want to say, Lindsay, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for reading the word. <laughs> One thing I can guarantee about this woman, she will be full of the word of God, full of scriptures. And if you're not, Poppy Ray is, that's for sure. <laughs> thanks for joining us. And I want to tell you, we are so excited to offer you the newest Read, Pray, and Then Obey. This one's volume two, 31 day devotional for healing and wholeness. I want you to be healed and whole in every area yeah. of your life. The number's on the screen, 844-828-1412. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for joining yes, me. I love, I love being it. a part of this with you. You know what we'd like you to do today? Make it count.